has a channel. This guy has like 10 channels that he likes to comment on. No, I actually blocked one of his. Yeah, we're gonna start off here at Nissan. We got the new Z right here. Did you just say Nissan? You're not British? Uh, no, it's not on purpose. We got the new Z right here. I think I'm a telepack, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get a cinematic. Hopefully I can. Much lower than I expected. And then these are... Are these exhaust speed tips? Yeah, much lower than it. Like, I feel like it would have been like here maybe. This isn't the 370. It's more chubbier in the rear. 370, but this is more futuristic. Yeah, this is like the launch spec and like the highlighter, yellow, green. There's so much in here. Yeah, I have no idea. You got space in there? there you easily fit. Easily. Actually, I did fit in the uh, GR. The so. Supra you didn't. The Mark V? The GR uh, 86 I put in yeah. Oh my god. Eh, I'm not fully straight, but... Good? Well, is this seat all the way back? I always like this this orange from Nissan. They put on a few cars and it looks pretty good. Yeah. So we got the Ultima here. It's not like a fully grayish. It's like blue-ish. That's like the Hyundai color. Yeah. On like the... Veloster. We got the Frontier. I, I saw a few stories of this on Instagram. Huge off-road truck. Got the spare tires. I guess built by Nismo. So it's like literally Nismo on the side there. I like the wheels, the bronze wheels. Yeah, the wheels are good. The livery. Probably me. Uh -huh. Type truck somewhere in the sand dunes or something. Right. So how's this? This is less. Oh, sorry. No, no. Less space. Well, it's the same car actually as what we were talking about earlier. Actually. Oh, yeah. I was thinking that one was like a concept one, or is that actually a production? Well, that's, that's like the concept one, but that's the one like everyone has. Like, yeah. Because it's in in the highlighter green or whatever. I don't really like this. Good, neither do I. Right. Well, better than the eight six. So I'm kind of squished. There's really a, no room in there. It's, a bit heavier, it's still like. same space as the other one. Other than like the, all the gauges in there. Hell, it's not on. Yeah, no. How's the pedal? Oh, there's a part. Yeah. We got the frontier. Let me step back a little bit. Filming on site. Is there filming in there? There's filming in there. So am I filming. Anyways. So yeah, this is a new frontier. How's it, Connor? That's fine. Fine. Give your Doug score. What would you rate it? Eight. Nice. We are squished here in the this back. Oh, wait, I can put this seat back, though. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's see. And then fuck you, man. I'm pretty sure these. Don't see if these seats like fold up. Yeah, this is. It, it, yeah, so it was just like a, a cushion to sit on. It's not like an actual seat, I feel like. Because, yeah, this okay. is supposed to be so the trunk. That's good space. That's not that bad. Look at this. This is like an electric uh, van. Looks like some rover almost. <laughs> looks like a rover in a VW bus. Yeah. I got a whole, like, got a whole goddamn kitchen in the back. Got an electric Cadillac, we got Kia Nero EV. From far away, their logo looks like K with a backwards N. 
that's exactly what I was thinking on the first time I saw it. I was like, is that a new car? No, it's a Kia. <laughs> KN, what is that? KN, what is that? I've never heard of that before. What? No, it looks Very good. Logo. This is Ikea. Yeah. I K I A. It looks good. Oh, yeah. Like that's an I, I and then a K. I, I, or it was just like a K and an M. And and the, the, the back of this Cadillac. Kind of nice, not gonna lie. I like the, the swoop of the taillight. But the angle they cut that from like a CTSB wagon or something that escalates. And here, Hyundai, Elantra M. And the rear almost looks like Nismo ish, has the red stripe, black and white. That's kind of cool. Is that a blue piece? Is that like a blue stripe? We're going inside the Elantra N, the Nissan Elantra N Nismo with the red striping. I like the seats. They look pretty nice, almost like bucket seats. Oh, look at the handle thing. Oh, yeah. You don't even know what the heck is. Sunroof. Hello. Oh, like how the grill is up like, like yeah, it's like the headlights. Yeah, and then the vents in the corner underneath here, it like comes out. But other than that, no, there's no similarity. 2023 Elantra. So that was the Elantra N. This is the base one, I guess. Has a little tiny like lip coming out. So this is the. What is this holding? Vision. I just called the DeLorean looking car. Vision's... Uh, I don't know what it says. Vision 74 or something? Oh, it literally says right here. When they first showed this off, I was like, eh? But yeah, I guess now I'm seeing it in person. It looks like the uh, DeLorean with racing lights. Yeah. Eh? And like turbo fan wheels with the red caps and the big wing, the... What's it called? Louvers? I'm assuming, yeah, there's no interior, that's why they just blocked it out. Yeah, and then the huge ass diffuser, rear diffuser. Big fins coming out, and the LED uh, tail lights. You can see right here. It has lots of arrow. The side skirts, little channels coming out from here. The intake on the side there, right here, these vents from the front wheels. So now we have the front, the end vision. So these, I'm pretty sure they're yellow these, right? And then tiny little grill right here. There's actually two separate channels there. So there's a little split right here in the middle. And two separate grills. I've heard like 10 people say, let's look at the one. <laughs> Everyone's agreeing. Actually, look at the fitment on the turbo fans. Damn. Kind of cool. color I think and it's like purple satin purple this is like a, like a red a yeah and the overall shape I'm still iffy about it looks like the turtle how it's like hunched right here I mean the wings pretty cool still because wow. track cars also has a similar LED style taillights and a huge square diffuser for four different channels I guess of air also LED lights here and leave in the comments yay or nay. Mine don't switch. Alright, we're here at the Mopar area. Or Mopar. Yeah. So we got Dodge, Red Jeep. Nah. Is that um which one come? Broncos are gonna be more exciting than Jeep. Actually yeah. Hopefully we can send some. Oh look at over there, the test track for Jeep. Wait, can you sit in it? I think so. Connor, let's do that. Yeah, we gotta do that. There's a test track over there. The new Hornet, I think it's called. Oh, yeah, the color I like. Nice blue with a lighter pearlescent. Yeah, Hornet. Here we got the Challenger. My thing is, I've seen too many of these Elf in Florida. Hat. Yeah. That car meet literally had like a hundred of them. Florida has a lot of, did you see a lot of C8s? Yeah, there's a lot of C8s, yeah. C, Like, they love C8s down in Florida. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of C8s and then a lot of just like I saw, I saw other ones. This is the new Hellcat. This is technically last year, isn't it? I'm no longer bruising it, actually. I just remember that. Pardon? Did they change it from last year to this year? I don't think, honestly, much has changed. Maybe, like, this spoiler. <clears throat> Other than that, yeah, I think this is 
last production year. I'm no longer producing it after this year. So yeah, this is one of the last of muscle cars we're probably gonna see for, I don't know, ever, honestly. Wheels, I think after the wheels might be a little different, I don't think. Yeah. Yeah, five spokes and like a lighter gray for this spec. Here's a new Gladiator. There was a Gladiator back there. I don't know what the difference was. I think that was a Gladiator. I don't know if that was a Wrangler. This one's like a Lime. This also has the same... Oh no, this is a little less rough. Got a, a Nissan. I do like the fenders that Jeep's always had coming out. Oh, okay, we're good. We're here at Alfa Romeo. Their booth. The back. The back of them. Yeah. Look at the red above it. So yeah, this is the Julia. The whole center console, carbon fiber, and the dashboard all along here. The shift pedals right behind the steering wheel. Nice sporty sedan that Alfa Romeo. Produced. Everyone turns around. <laughs> the roof as well as carbon. Yeah, carbon fiber roof with the antenna. Carbon fiber spoiler, the ducktail as well. That's pretty nice. How's the space in there? It's a lot more than you think. That's like, Does it have the Italian flag right on yep, the that shifter? Is. That's pretty cool. Oh, and Connor. Carbon fiber on the side here. Bro, this closes. whole car is decked out. So guess we got carbon fiber, we got the Italian flag on the power shifter. I got decent headroom here as well. What about you, Connor? I don't like the steam wheel. I like it. I don't I like, like the, the power shifters. Carbon fiber right here as well. Start, stop. Bro, these paddles are massive. I don't think it, yeah, I don't think it's fixed with the steering wheel. Which is it's, a good thing, you could do an aftermarket no, steering wheel. No, well, yeah, but when you're turning, actually, when you're like trying to track it or something, then it would be that's hard. That's going to be annoying. Here you notice on all the vehicles from Alpha, you can even see it in the Stelvio yeah. and the Julia. Now, and of course, there's beautiful wheels back here. You have the gloss black finish here for the antenna. And the nice rear window, that actually comes to a nice kind of fine point here and points to your... Highest trim level is only two, it's a Sprint and the Veloce. This one is actually a gas engine, so it's here we got the whole battery and drivetrain. Yeah, wait, what, what model would this be for? Oh, this Sorrento? I don't even see. So here, this is a. Which one is this one? I feel like I've seen this a few times online. Is that the mall name? All wheel drive LR slash GT? I think so. Model. Oh, GT? The Kia GT. Yeah. Alright, I like the finish. Satin gray. Yeah. Looks like a lime green. Lime green gray calipers. We got the new Stinger 2023. Still pretty good that they're still making this. It's been in production for I don't know how long actually. Now on this side we got the Celtos and I actually don't know which one that one is. You got different Celtos. We got a test track right here for Jeeps. We got a like a ramp you go up just to test the stability of it. We got angled ramps over there. I guess those are different models you got to go on, or maybe it's just this Wrangler. I'm not too sure. Yeah, low course. Too long of a line to get in, so we're gonna just keep going. Torque. I actually kind of like that. Looks like a Range Rover, honestly. Like SVR. Yeah, it does look like a Range Rover. Jeep? Oh, it's 